so you know um, i hope we you know like uh, we have this i was wondering you know like about do we really know what is an abundant life you know like most of the time when we think of an abundant life it is often you know denoted as like when we have definitely ease with money we have the things we desire yes that's all included in the abundant life but abundant life is a way of being you know like where you be the energy which universe is which you see everywhere in the nature you know then you enjoy everything you have everything you be it's a whole different world so you know abundant life when i think of abundant life one thing that i have i'm very very clear i can say that i know for sure is in the when you live in abundant life you don't have any sense of separation from people from things from your body from you like zero sense of separation you know what do i mean it's like you know that everything everybody everyone is contributing to you sometimes you know uh in good ways sometimes not in so good ways like sometimes directly sometimes indirectly sometimes uh, it looks like it, you know like they are contributing uh in in a way that you can't even imagine possible like you know how can that be a contribution but again contribution doesn't mean that you know it uh, looks good it means that it will always expand your life you know if you look back into your life you know there might be some people there might be some situation which was so bad so ugly and you thought like this is the worst thing that happened to me and you know or this is the worst person i've ever met but years after that you realize you know what that was the contribution that situation made me learn so much made me grow so much or you know so that's what first thing is you know like you, then all the sense of separation that you had in that moment melts you know like it goes away so please note that you know like when you live an abundant life everything you desire everything including money including success including everything you know starts coming toward you you know so what will be the tip number 2 i hope you are playing with tip number 1 because trust me that is the foundation to create the abundant life like most of the time people don't have the clarity what they really desire you know so if you do that if you pull energy into that thing you will start having you know that clarity that uh, uh, possibilities will start coming toward you and then you all you have to do is take action you know and be in question to keep moving forward so for today i would like to, you know like i wanted to talk about this tool because i think that you know without this you won't be able to apply all the other tools with ease so what's that you know uh, if you look into the nature nature functions from you know like gifting and receiving what do i mean like you know if you if you look at a tree tree gifts you simultaneously and receives from you simultaneously it's not that okay you gift me first then i will receive or you receive first then i will give you know like that thing is not going on in nature it's only done in the mankind you know it's only done in the human world and i think you know like uh unless we change this you know abundant life seems to be kind of a fantasy or not a reality and how do we change it you know like in the mankind or you know among the mankind you see they function most of the time we function from give and take so okay if i'm giving you this then i will take you there so take from you this or if you're taking this then you have to give me this you know like that's how most of the time we function which is exactly opposite of how you live an abundant life so what do what do i mean here give and take comes from the mind you know like it's a concept that our mind understands it's very logical you know like okay if i'm giving something i must take or if i'm taking something i must give you know and in that it's like a you know it's a very linear thing or it's kind of a, there is a always a sense of separation when you do give and take but gifting and receiving is a whole different world and it, guys let me give you this like you know it's not just a concept that you say okay i am going to gift and receive like that you know it's like it's a muscle that we build it's a point of view that we change and how do we do that 
So first thing we, we do here is, you know, like every time when you kind of function with regard to especially, you know, like in, in business, in money and, you know, in the day to day interactions, always, you know, like ask this question first is what gift can I be and receive here? Even in business, you know, most of the time people say, okay, I'm doing business, so, you know, like put all this out of the box. Put out, put out, you know, I'm not going to consider this. This is business time. Trust me, guys, if we, business is, if you do business and you apply this to your business, you will see how much fun you will have in your business and how that will show up as a result you know, into profits and into everything else that you desire, you know, in your business. So first is, whenever you do anything, Whenever you do anything, whenever you uh, make any choice, just ask this one question first. What gift can I be and receive here? You know, whatever you do. And to build this muscle of gifting and receiving, every time you find yourself going into, you know, uh, give and take, you have to acknowledge it that, okay, you know what, this is what I'm doing here is give and take. This won't lead you to an abundant life. You know, if you look into you know uh, if you look uh, from a bigger perspective from a macro perspective if you look into the lives of those people who have functioned from this gifting and receiving it always generates an abundant life for them you know in all way, ways like if you apply it in relationship you will have an abundant life in relationship it means you won't have any sense of separation if you apply it with money you will see that you have ease with money you have abundance of money you know, like haven't you noticed sometimes people who have lots of money in their bank yet don't feel abundant and, you know, or vice versa, or vice versa, kind of, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, that uh, it's only, you know, when you have less money or more money. What I mean here is like abundance is a sense. First of all, that's a sense where you know that everything in universe is supporting you and you know that the more I align myself, the way universe functions, the more abundant my life will become. You know, it's like law of frequency, you know, like we all know that everything is energy, everything is frequency here, everything is a vibration. We just have to match our frequency and vibration. Said by Einstein, if you match your frequency with the things you desire, even universe can't stop you from, you know, having that. So how do we do that? That's one thing that I'm, you know, like, that's the one thing we have to learn here is gifting and receiving for, and shifting from give and take to gifting and receiving. So, you know, gifting and receiving is first of all, have a, it make it a kind of a, use it as your point of view. You know what? I'm always going to choose this. Whenever I know that if I'm receiving, I am gifting. If I'm gifting, I'm receiving. I know this. I acknowledge it, you know, and then you can ask, you know, show me what gift can I be and receive today? What gift can I be and receive here? What gift can I, when you look, for example, you go for, to do your business, ask what gift can I be and receive today? You know, you are uh, meeting somebody, what gift can I be and receive in this meeting, with this meeting, with this person? But if you're buying something, what gift can I be and receive here? Do what you do, but change your intention, change your points of views, you know, and you will see the whole frequency will change, the whole vibrations will change. This is an amazing access tool that I've learned years ago and I've been applying this to my life, you know, like especially in, in those areas where I desire to create a phenomenal change. And the more you start using it, the more you start applying all the time, you know, like, so play with this, you know, what gift can I be and receive? here you know like if you wake up in the morning what gift can i be and receive today if you you know go to do something what gift can i be and receive you know like just right before posting you know going for live for this video i was what gift can i be and receive with this video you know with this tip you know what gift can i be and receive every time you do some work like if you're doing energetic works if you're doing any kind of work even if you're sending an email or a message i wonder if you just be this question you will notice a difference in your life in a week's time, you know, or if you keep doing this, you will be surprised what one question can do. Okay. And do talk, do find yourself when you go into too much give and take immediately stop there and go, what gift can I be and receive here in relationship guys, try this. You will be surprised how relationships will turn around wherever you apply this. 
it will help you to turn around that situation. So play with this and I will see you in the next video.